We don't often get to see a massive star explode. Both physically and metaphorically, a new star has exploded onto the scene at hand. This is the issue that is causing criticism everywhere. But what actually happens? Don't worry, everything is explained in this video. Keep watching to learn more. So let's get started. Recently, researchers have been focusing their binoculars on a well-known celestial body in our springtime night sky to observe a rare occurrence. A new supernova, or galaxy, that has exploded onto the scene actually and metaphorically. This brand new supernova has surfaced in a star city outside of our own personal galaxy. The Pinwheel Galaxy, commonly known as Messier 101 or M101, is a huge, weakly wrapped, spread out, open faced, spiraling galaxy that, provided the sky is sufficiently dark in color, can be seen using a modest telescope. To be sure you saw it, you would require a low power devices telescope and a large field of view. The half dozen spiral structures of this cluster will be visible in long exposure photos. Some of the more latest pictures show the appearance of a new star, whereas none had previously been visible. However, this is hardly a new star. It is in decline. The new explosion is situated in the Pinwheel Galaxy, which is close to the line dividing boats the herdsmen from Ursa Major, the Big Bear. Visualize a line running from the stars Aelioth and Mazar in the grip of the Big Dipper if you can find it. Somebody will be at the broad region of M101, and one if they follow that route another equivalent mile past Mazar. The supernova may appear visually to knowledgeable amateurs in astronomy who are accustomed to observing M101 as an oddball speck that shines in one of the arms of the spiral. Just keep in mind that these galaxies and explosions aren't the most straightforward celestial things to find. Its perceived size is one factor contributing to its impaired visibility. M101 is nearly one-third of the apparent diameter of the moon, Thus, because of the stark difference between it and the background sky, its overall illumination is spread out to a degree that makes it challenging to see. A celestial body that is, or was, numerous times bigger and more powerful than the sun is what we are witnessing in this latest supernova. If a star like this were to take the spot left by our own sun in our own solar system, it might be larger than Mars' orbit. In the center of stars, Hydrogen and helium are fused to create energy. A star's energy output greatly increases when enough helium is accumulated in its core, and it enlarges into a red giant or supergent, like it in the direction of Orion. To counteract the relentless pressure of gravity, such stars' cores create heavier elements one at a time. That is what we are currently witnessing, even though the star's explosion did not take place on Friday night, because M101 is situated approximately 21 million light-years away from Earth. Thus, the light produced by this explosion traveled through space for 21 billion years until it last week landed on Earth. In the days to follow, astronomers will undoubtedly continue to observe the explosion, recording any changes in intensity before it inevitably disappears. Our recommendations for the finest telescopes and greatest lenses are a wonderful place to start if you want to see M101 or something else in the stars at night. If you want to shoot the moon, you have to use the most effective equipment for astronomical photography and the ideal lenses for astronomical observations if you're looking to try your hand at capturing images of celestial occurrences like this new supernova. That's all we had to say from our end. Please let us know in the comments if you have anything to add. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Stay tuned for more interesting videos.